Yeah! Hey! Ha! Hey! Yeah!
You sure we'll find Tron's source code here? <laughs> it's not here. Maybe Clue has it with him. Sora, let's look elsewhere. All right. Huh? Oh. Wait, Cora. Let me talk to Rinsler. A little heart to heart might jog his memory. He's a program, Sora. Programs don't have hearts. That's not true. The Tron I remember, he had something. Hey, you used to be called Tron, right? Clue did something to you to mess with your memory. You're a little confused, but that's okay. Come on. Remember, Tron! I don't think Rinsler is quite the friend you remember. He just needs time, that's all. Quora! Tron, don't! <laughs> Tron, why? That's what we do. Put the most precious <sighs> memories in the back of our minds where they're safe. Or in your case, the most precious hearts? Not you again! The memory and heart are tightly linked. Oh, Xemnas! Rub a few memories together, and you get a spark of emotion, a feeling. But in a digital world, memory does not work like that. Nothing is ever felt. You can hold a thousand, a million times the information. But there is still no heart with which to parse it. Once, my master Ansem found an old system and made a copy of its master control program and used it to serve his own ends. This is the original data of that system. Here, data can be copied. Memory can be changed and easily manipulated. Tron is a digital entity, so why would he be any different? He obeys the rules of this world. Sora, what about you? Me? Your heart, memories, your data, and your dreams. The bits and bytes that have made up your life so far, can you say for sure they are not just copies of someone else's? Yes! My memories and feelings belong to me! You had better check. Make certain the box's contents match what's on the label. Since you have been chosen, Chosen for what? You think this is the realm of dreams, but there you are mistaken. Data does not dream, cannot dream. <laughs> this world is real. You haven't the slightest idea where you are, that you have already wandered off the path. What do you mean?
Combatant 13 versus Rinsler. <sighs> Greetings, Sora. I've been waiting. Who are you? I am Clue. <gasps> so it was you. You're the guy who turned Tron into Rinsler. Correct. I had to repurpose his code. Well, unrepurpose it. Yes. Under the right parameters, I might. Huh? You have a little item called a Keyblade. It can open any lock, isn't that right? Hand it over, and I'll change Rinsler back into Tron. The Keyblade? I... I can't. This is what lights the darkness. A chance to make everyone happy! Ha! <laughs> Flawed reasoning. I'll have to take it by force. Tron! Why can't I get through to you? Fight, Sora! <gasps> Korra! You're okay! I can't believe it! Yes. I think Tron heard you. Long enough for me to escape. You can do it! You can get through to him! Sora! You have to fight him! But, Korra! How can I...? You have that key! It will bring him to his senses. I'll try! Let's go, Tron!
I'll deal with you later. I have to retrieve Rinsler. He reached for my hand. Tron is still in there. You and that key have a special power. So do you. Power to make me see it. So, does that mean we're friends? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> What if my memories aren't my own? No. I gotta be like Tron. Maybe we're walking the wrong path, but our hearts will lead us back to the truth.
I created the perfect system. Is that it's unknowable. It's impossible. But it's also right in front of us all the time. You wouldn't know that because I didn't when I created you. I'm sorry, Clue. I'm sorry. He's my son. Don't even think about it. These gates that connect worlds, maybe when we pass through them, we're challenged, and changed, and it's not over. There are more trials ahead we have to overcome. <laughs> but we'll be ready, Sora. He'll be just fine as long as Riku's with him. Uh. Huh? You don't think? No! Master Yen said! Look! It's a raven! Uh oh! That raven is Maleficence. What's the that? Huh? Why, that's Minnie's. Well? Huh? Gorge, what's it say? It's from Maleficent. She's kidnapped Minnie. She took Queen Minnie. Minnie. The letter says for me to return to Disney Castle, or else. Mickey, there is no time to waste. Okay, you fellas stay here. 
King Ricky, we're going with you! Gosh, uh, I guess you're right, pals. We friends need to stick together. Master Yen Sid, we'll be back! Hmm. Timing is too perfect, too calculated. Maleficent must sense a change in the forces of darkness. A change like Xehanort. Traverse Town? Why am I back? Hmm? Joshua. Nice of you to join us. What happened? Trouble happened. I was hoping one of you could help. When did Sora get here? Bravo, Riku. Why can't he be this quick on the uptake? Yeah, well, Sora's a little... <laughs> Now, let's get down to the problem. We've got a nasty Dream Eater on our hands. It keeps jumping between worlds. Not only that, it knows how to summon creatures like it. Pretty powerful ones, too. The others are on a mission to stop it, but they need help. The others? You mean Shiki and her friends? That's right. They all found their game partners, and Shiki is over fighting in the other Traverse Town. In fact, Sora is helping them out. Good to hear. So what can I do? Actually, the Dream Eater just reappeared in the Fountain Plaza. I sent Beat and his partner to face it. I'm on it. Riku, there's something else you need to know. Hmm? These two Traverse Towns separated by the portal. I was under the impression they were parallel worlds. But it looks like I was wrong. Wrong how? That's where it gets tricky. After you and Sora left, Shiki crossed the portal to join her game partner. Did you notice players have a mission timer inscribed on their hands? Well, when she got to the other side, Shiki had more time left on her clock than her partner. And when Beat's partner crossed over from the other side, she had less time left. So time flows differently here and there? So what? That's true of any two worlds. Their homeworld would be running on a different time axis too. Yes.